question five is the trigonometry question. They always have a question involving you solving a trig function on paper one. And we're looking at the depth of water in a river, which is modelled by this function at time t after 6am. And we need to find the minimum depth of water in the river. Now, I've seen students use calculus for this sort of thing. Just remember that the range of this part of the function, the sine part, is going to be between negative 1 and 1. So the minimum value is going to happen when this quantity is negative 1. So the minimum occurs at 14 minus 8, which gives you 6 metres. If you used calculus or another method, you'd find the same thing. And you also know that's right, because if you check this domain, you can see if you sub in t equals 12, you'll get sine of pi, which is negative 1. So it's within your domain as well. For part b, we need to solve for t when this function equals 10. So let's set the function equal to 10. Now, there are so many ways and different methods and routines to solve this thing. I'm going to show you my way. Um, as long as you get the right answer, that's what matters. First thing I do is I take the coefficient of the variable, uh, the pi on 12 here, and I multiply it by the numbers in my domain. And I call that the modified domain. So pi on 12 times 24 gives you 2 pi. So you work with this domain, and then after you get your final answer, you go back to that one. I'll show you what, what I mean. So you've got this domain here. Let's get sine of pi t on 12 by itself. So 10 minus 14 is negative 4, divided by 8 gives you negative a half. Now we need to find the key angle or the fundamental angle, or the first quadrant angle. Sine of something gives you a half. Ignore the sign for now. Sine of something gives you a half. Well, we know that quantity is going to be pi on 6. Now we can start playing with quadrants. So let's see, which quadrants are we in? That's a terrible circle. Which quadrants are we in? We want sine to be negative. Well, it's positive there and there. It's negative there negative there. Now we have something to work with. So we want pi t on 12 to equal pi plus pi on 6, which is 7 pi on 6, or 2 pi minus pi on 6, which is 11 pi on 6. Notice that I'm filling this domain, and I've already filled it. I'm filling this domain. Now I'm going to solve for t and it should come out that it fits in that domain. Let's times both sides by 12. So we get 7 pi on, timesing both sides by 12, so we get 7 pi on 3, and then we get, hang on a moment, no, that's not right. Timesing both sides by 12, we get, 14 pi, apologies, and we get 22 pi. So times in both sides by 12, 12 on 6 gives you 2, so we get 14 pi and 22 pi. Let's divide both sides by pi, so we get 14 and 22. Now, notice it hasn't said find the hours, it's simply stated find the values of t for which h of t equals 10. So that's the question you need to answer. You need to say t equals 14 or t equals 22. And that's your answer there.